Sigoni, Sigoni, how's your macaroni? Hey guys, and welcome back to the second of five washcloths in this beginner washcloth series. The pattern that was released last week was the treble pop washcloth, where we practiced the single and treble crochet stitches, and we created this nice little bobbly texture. This week, we're learning how to crochet the basic stitch washcloth. So be sure to check out that tutorial after you finish this one. Today we're going to work on this basic shell stitch washcloth and you are going to need one ball of Lion Brand's Re-Up yarn, a 5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. And as I've told you before, the reason why I put together this beginner washcloth series was so you could practice the basic stitches while also coming away with something valuable. So with this pattern, you'll be practicing the single and double crochet stitches while also learning how to create a shell stitch, which is a really beautiful and popular stitch. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. To start, we're going to create a slip knot and make a chain of 38. If you would like to make your washcloth a different size, all you have to do is create your foundation chain in multiples of six and then add two at the end. Now for row one, we're going to single crochet in each chain down. So insert your hook into the second chain from your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop and you'll have two loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through those two loops. Again, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now continue single crocheting in each chain across. And now we've reached the end of row one. To continue on to row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. So we're looking at the back side of the row we just completed. Now single crochet in each stitch across. So insert your hook into this very first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through those two loops. Now single crochet in each stitch across. All right, and now we've reached the end of row two. So for row three, we're going to repeat row two. So we'll chain one, turn our work, and single crochet in each stitch across. All right, and now we've hit the end of row three. And now we're about to get to the fun part. So for row four, we're going to chain one and turn your work, single crochet in the first stitch, now skip two stitches and place five double crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to skip these two stitches and work our five double crochet into this stitch here. So yarn over, insert your hook into the third stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and that's your first double crochet. Now go ahead and place a second double crochet into this same stitch. Okay, now we have two double crochet and we're going to put three more all in this same stitch. Okay, so there are our five double crochets all in one stitch, and that is called a shell stitch. Now skip two single crochet and place a single crochet into the next stitch. So these two stitches we're skipping, and we're inserting our hook into that third stitch, and we're making a single crochet. Now repeat this same pattern to the end. So we're going to skip two single crochet, so one, two, and then we're going to place five double crochet into the next. So our next shell is going to be into that third stitch. So skip, skip, shell. So insert your hook into that third stitch and place five double crochet all into this one stitch.
Now again, skip two single crochet and single crochet into that third stitch. Skip two single crochet and place a shell into the next stitch. Now repeat this same pattern until you reach the end of the row. Now we've reached our last shell and we're going to skip these two stitches and place a single crochet into our very last stitch. All right, and so this is what your first row should look like. So you should have six shell stitches. Now for row five, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and turn our work. Place two double crochet into this very first single crochet. And this is going to be a half shell. Now skip the next two stitches, so these next two double crochet, and single crochet into this middle double crochet. Now skip the next two double crochet and place five double crochet into this single crochet here. So one, two, three, and you see how it's getting a little tight? It's okay to move your stitches around. Don't be afraid to pull them especially with this cotton yarn, they're not going anywhere. And five. Now again, we're going to skip these two double crochet and place a single crochet into this middle double crochet. And then place your next shell stitch into the next single crochet. So we're skipping those two double crochet. There you go. So you have two shells. Now repeat this pattern where you skip two double crochet, single crochet into the middle double crochet, and then place your shell stitch into the next single crochet. And now we're going to place our last single crochet into this middle double crochet. and place three double crochet into this last stitch. So we're working another half shell into this last stitch. And this is what your work should look like after round five. So you have two half shells on each side and you'll have five full shells in the middle. Now for row six, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Single crochet in that very first stitch. Skip the next two double crochet and place five double crochet into the single crochet stitch here. So one, And remember, it's okay to move your stitches over if you don't feel like there's enough room. And five. All right, now skip the next two stitches, which is here and here, and single crochet into that middle double crochet, and place another shell stitch into your next single crochet. and repeat the same pattern down the row. All right, and we're going to skip these last double crochets. So there's three here. There's one double crochet, two double crochet, and then your chain three at the end. We're going to single crochet into that top chain of the chain three. And that's the end of row six. So this is what your work should be looking like. 
Now for rows 7 through 26, we're going to repeat rows 5 and 6. So remember that row 5 begins with a half shell and row 6 begins with a single crochet. So we'll go over row 5 one more time. So row 7, we're going to repeat row 5. So chain 3, turn your work, place 2 double crochet into that same stitch, so this single crochet, and that's your half shell. Then skip the next two double crochet and single crochet into that middle double crochet and create a shell stitch into that next single crochet. And that's how you begin round seven. And now that I've reached the end of round seven, we're going to skip those last two double crochets and place three double crochet into that last stitch to create your half shell. So continue repeating rows five and six until you reach row 27. Okay, so I've just reached the end of row 26, and now for rows 27 through 29, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch across. So chain one, turn your work, and single crochet in each stitch. All right, and I've reached the end of row 29, and so all that's left to do is to cut your yarn and tie off your work. So we'll tie off our work by yarning over and pulling that strand all the way through and pulling tight to secure that knot. And that is it for the basic shell stitch washcloth. Now all that's left to do is to go ahead and weave in your ends. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me through this beginner washcloth series. If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you're ready to make another beginner washcloth with me, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you next time.